Hello everyone, Big Friendly Wargamer back with another uh, 40k Imperium unboxing, I'm bagging, unboxing, yeah, same thing. Now, I've fallen behind with these again, um, I just, they come in a lot more qu quickly than I thought they would, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure they come in like three weeks apart, not four, but I've got the latest set, which are these ones, they're 39 to 42. And I've got the previous set to do, which are these. They're 35 to 38. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two videos. So I'll do the 35 to 38 first. And then uh, you will see the 39 to 42 go up probably later in the week. Um, I'm going to do it all in one day. So it's done, it's out of the way then. Now I can unbag them, open them up properly, put them in the magazine, in the binders, and decide what I'm going to do in the models. Because I've got loads of stuff already. Um, these are all characters. I've got the bases for them as well. I've got some other bits and pieces, and I'm going to sell them. I'm, I'm just, I don't need them really, I don't want them. And there's more in these sets as well. Like, for example, you've got the... Um... I'll show you when I unpack them. Makes sense, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'll set my camera up. As you can see, my, my tripod's there in front of my light. I'll set my camera up and we'll get to doing these. Uh, and hopefully get them all done today. Uh, we'll see. Right, so here we go for number issue number 35. So, give you a bit of a close-up on the miniature first. Now, this is, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, the Engine Seer. Let's go zoom in. Now, this is the one you get in the, in the box, the actual um, individual blister pack, power axe and servo arm on his back. It's nothing too uh, spectacular. I don't own one of these models, but I don't really need one. It's not really for my army anyway. So, sorry, shaking the camera. So we'll put him to one side. And on to issue 35. Right. So, indents in it in the magazine as per usual from the uh, from the model. Straight on to the Tech Priest engine seer, telling you who he is, what he does, that kind of thing. And obviously you can name him and name all his arms and his weapons and everything that they like to do in this this set of 40k Imperium. Oh, let me just turn that off, that's better. Um, telling you about the Stygis uh, 8, which is another uh, Forge World. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. Whatever that says. It's another. It's basically telling you about the Forge Worlds and stuff. Um, moving on to the Age of Darkness. Telling you about um, what happened pre-Imperium in, in, the, in the galaxy. Um, going on to talk about the Long War, which is the... War between the Cal Space Marines and the uh, Imperial Imperium uh, forces. How to build the engines here? Now this looks like quite a simple model to build. Then how to paint the engines here? Uh, obviously, by this point you've got a fair supply of, of paint. And uh, using most of them by the look of it. So you should come to that. Now for me, that red is very, very dull, uh, so I would brighten mine up a fair bit. But but my my um, Mechanicum stuff is from uh, Metallica, so anyway, so they're a lot brighter than that. Uh, Doctrinal Imperatives, which is uh, rules for the cult uh, Mechanicum, uh, Adeptus Mechanicum, sorry. Actual faction rules, um, tutorial on how it works. The uh, data sheet for the Tech Priest engines here. And f using them to fight and everything. Um, rules for the shooting phase. 
which is a double page spread um, and then I think this is going to be a little battle a monolithic task uh, so you've got Necron Overlord and the um, Tech Priest Dominus who is from an older set uh, and then little scout mission as they're doing quite a lot now so that is issue 35 right so issue 36 is uh, another model hold on I'll just clear that out of the way so we've got the Necron Tomb Blade it comes with a lot of clear stand parts which I'll throw to one side and uh, let's zoom in on the actual model now I, I own quite a few of these I think I've got um, nine nine of them or something like that um, whether I keep these or not I'm not sure I don't think I need any more of them um, they're nice they come with multiple weapon options you've got the gauze uh, blasters twin link gauze blasters uh, twin link tester carbines and the twin links and uh, not the twin links um, the pike weemer so there's a lot of options there it's just again not a model that I really need because I own a few of them already so I'll put him to one side and we'll jump into issue 36 so straight away talk, telling you about Tomb Blades and uh, their weapon options um, they're basically like jet bikes they're Necron Warriors on jet bikes uh, and of course you can uh, name all your weapons and battle record is on e in every issue but there you go um, Necron Flyers they're going to talk about now so you've got the, um, the ones that everyone likes to call the croissants F Necron Flying Croissants so you've got the Doom Scythe you've got the Nice Scythe uh, they're the transport ones and they're like the gunship ones um, then going on to talk about uh, the elders, elder, uh, the vengeful hunters. So the elder flyers. So they, they look a little bit like that. Then on to bit how to build the um, uh, tomb blade. Now this model can be a bit fiddly. Um, certain little parts on it, but I'm sure. I mean I've built them. I've got really big cans. So there you go. Uh, on to how to paint them. It's a nice four pages of how to paint them. And then you've got the uh, the data sheet for it. Um, so you actually need a squadron of three. So that single model is kind of useless by himself at the moment. Um, tutorial on how to use them. Um, and then moving on to talking about different uh, weapon types so this is an actual core rules there's a uh, quite a large amount of this as well how to make attacks and then the mission is capture the forge well the actual uh, s scout scenario is called capture the forge the mission itself is battle for the forge um, so you've got uh, one royal warden one technomancer uh, 10 Necron Warriors and a Tomb Blade against a Tech Priest Dominus, a Tech Priest Engine Seer, uh, 10 Skatari Rangers, and the Cat from Destroyer. And uh, that is issue 36. Right, issue 37 is uh, the miniatures are these pipelines, which I have a lot of these. Um, if I can sell these off, I will sell them off. Uh, I don't know. Um, but I do have like six different loads of lots of this. So and I, I've, I've previewed these before in another, another video. So just put them to one side. Talking about issue 37. So we've got another one of these uh, pull-out sheets. Um, the war for... Tipos, the Typos. Nice double folded sheet. It's a war between the Mechanicum and the Necrons. Let's put that over there. And issue 37. 
So straight away talking about the plasma condu conduits which are the pipes. Um, what more can you say about that? More terrain. Um, okay, so that you can put add rules to it and stuff. Battle record for the for the conduits is kind of weird, but anyway. Um, moving on to talk about the Tower Empire, who are my nemesis in 40k. Yeah, I don't like playing them. Although my latest game, I actually beat them, so it's not too bad. Um, Double page, double sided page of that. Then we go on to Forge World Metallica, which is my Forge World. As you can see, a lot brighter colours than the uh, previous guy that they showed. And they have Forge uh, Titan Legion called the Iron Skulls, which is what my actual Titan Legion are for Electrus Titanicus. And then moving on to talk about Riser, which is another Forge World. How to build the plasma conduits. And lots of how to build plasma conduits. And you can mix and match, you can make them how you like, but that's how they suggest it. And on to painting them. Getting a lot of silver. But yeah, they look they look great when they're done, but it's just I've got so much of it. Um so back to the core rules, talking about invun saves, mortal wounds, ignoring wounds. Nice uh picture of a, of a battle that someone's fought onto the charge phase charging and charging with a unit uh, heroic intervention and then um, moving on to uh, the scenario which is called cracking the Aegis I believe you understand I'm reading all this upside down so I may be pronouncing some of this stuff wrong um, and the mission itself is called Power Struggle, which you've got a uh, Royal Warden, uh, Tomb Blade, three Scarab bases and five Immortals, versus a Tech Priest Dominus, a Tech Priest Engine Seer, Cat from Destroyer, and ten Skatari. So, that is issue 37. So issue 38 is a bit of a uh, up and down. Uh, you get two paints, you get Uriel Yellow, which is a quite a bright yellow. And then you get Astro Granite, which is a technical paint. I'm going to add them to my spare paints I've got there. You get uh, Citadel, what they call it, texture applier thing. So you put your texture paint on with that, and then you smooth it out with the smaller end. I've got one of these already, so that'll be something that will be a bit extra. Uh, a new gaming mat, which is double sided just show you generally so it's a bit big for this and then you got two sides so it's another gaming mat there and on to issue 38 and space wolves on the cover so I'm gonna start talking about uh, Adeptus Mechanicus um, defeat and redemption now so it's basically moving on to talk about you could give your characters injuries apparently but there you go and uh, uh, characteristics for each each of your models um, so really kind of diving into the narrative of 40k which is kind of cool um, so that's for the uh, Necrons I believe yep it is and then they do the same for the ultramarines so you can give your character like, give them personalities kind of thing straight then into talking about the space wolves the emperor's executioners um, another space ring chapter and uh, telling you about the great wolf and uh, the curse of the wolfen uh, moving on to talk about the Age of the Imperium, which is uh, the era where the Emperor was actually in charge. Or is it? No, the Age of the Imperium is the actual current day, I think. Uh, or was it slightly before the current day? I'm not sure. 
I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then talking about uh, the Age of Redemption, uh, the rise of the Adeptus Sororus, which is the sister battle. Um, moving on to talk about the Mephric Dynasty for the Necrons, which is my dynasty that I use for my Necrons when I do play them in 40k. Um, another couple of dynasties, dynasty names. Now you see that. Now this is what the textured paint uh, scraper thing is for. So how to apply textured paint onto your bases. Um, and they're basically based everything so far with uh, Astro Granite. Uh, but they haven't got you the dry brush yet, so you can't actually do the final layer. So anyway, uh, Necron rules, talking about the command protocols and uh, basically how they adapt during games. And a tutorial on it. Uh, carrying on the charge phase, charging over terrain. Which for the core rules. Uh, talking about Overwatch. Moving into the fight phase. And then how the fight phase works. Um, the scenario is called Running the Gauntlet. And the actual mission is called Break Their Lines. In this you've got one Overlord, ten Necron Warriors, five Immortals and five Flayed Ones. Versus one Blo Space Marine Captain, one Lieutenant, five Assault Intercessors and three aggressors and that is issue 38 so just give you a quick look at what we've got coming and it's really not great it's two two um catron destroyers uh which we've got one before you've got two more coming and uh yeah that's it right so that's the first lot for today down um that's what, 35 to 38? Yeah. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I don't want to keep any of these models. Uh, I, I think maybe the um, the Tomb Blade I might keep, uh, but the rest of them I'm not really bothered about. Even the, the pipes. I mean, I've got so many of them now uh, that I think I'm going to sell them off. Uh, obviously, I'll keep the paints because paints are always usable but the models just not so thank you very much if you've been watching these uh it find below in the description links to my instagram page my facebook page um i'll generally i'll try and sell these off to uh my actual gaming club buddies if not they might go on ebay in which case i'll give you i'll put links up to that as well but thank you very much i'll see you soon bye bye